Okay, so this is our Socratic discussion for the line of strike for dramas, and I thought we should talk about the question, how does judging affect the person being judged? Um, I think in today's world, it um, depends on, like, people judge certain people for, like, what they're known for, and, like, so if like you're known to make weird, to do weird things, like people will probably more judge you because you do that. And um, and that um, some people think that they're better than other people, depending on like how much money they have and um, like they like what their social situation is. Yeah. In my opinion, if like this is face to face, if you judge a person nicely face to face, they'll maybe be your friend or they'll feel good about themselves. But if you judge them like like badly or meanly, they won't feel good about themselves like face to face. Like if you tell them face to face, they might hate you for the rest of your life. Can we talk about a little more about the not the judger as much as the person being judged? Kind of like what I said a little bit of was um, how in the our, in our book, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, how we, um, Bruno's father listed the Jews as not human. So that may affect them by being beaten in terrible ways. Yeah, I agree. And I know what I think that goes along with that. Well, I know like it may hurt their feelings, and in this world it may include violence. I agree. I wrote that they could harm their whole self for any for other people around them. Like for example, in our school, people get judged all the time, harm like harmfully, mean, or hurtful, but also uh, very nice or good or respectful. So, uh, I'm gonna we're gonna go to the next one. But what I'm hearing is that we've been talking about the judge or and that like you have you can have an opinion, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you should say it. And also that um, it holds feelings when you um, judge somebody before you actually meet them. And is it good to be different? What do you think, Kate? Uh, sometimes it's good to be different, but other times it's not really because... Uh, <coughs> because like sometimes you kind of want to fit in, but sometimes... I agree with Kate, like, it's good to be different, it's good to be yourself, but yet yeah, you want to be like your friends just to like be their friend, but it's still good to be yourself. I'm going to kind of go the opposite way. So I kind of said you can, like, you can make yourself, you can make being different good or bad, because, like, if you choose to be different in a bad way, like, um, if you choose to like quote Jews like an old book, it doesn't really make you a better person. But then you can be different and it can be a good different. Because if we were all alike, then it would get kind of boring. And it would be all like, okay, I know your name, I know what you like. Okay, so, you actually them. okay so I have uh, another question, like moving on. Why did Hitler judge Jews because of their differences? What do you think? Um, I think this is because um, Hitler, I know like in the morning was trapped by Germans, and like in <coughs> book, Hitler liked to label a lot of different groups of people and call their names on each other. I think maybe he had a bad um, past experience or something that like made him who he was like. Um, yeah. Yeah, so this is, oh, sorry, and um, I think Hitler just, just didn't like 
religious people and he thought the blondes were better than religious people. Anyway, you go. Um, I think that he does them because he thought that he was perfect and he wanted people to be like him and the Jews were like him. And I agree with, with what Lily said, but I, through my research with Hitler, um, I, I know he did it because he, one, he blamed Jews for losing World War One, and two, I don't know the fully background, but he, must have, he hated um, this like outer empire or something. He was a Jewish person, and I don't think Hitler really. Hitler hated that person pretty much. Um, so, wait, so, I yeah. thought. I thought. Uh, I thought because Hitler, Hitler thought the Jews or any black people at the camps, like especially Auschwitz, because it's one of the biggest. Yep, Hitler didn't think they were humans. Like he could, he thought, he, he thought he could like just have them as their slaves or play them as rag dolls and like, like he could do whatever they wanted to. Like yeah, the so black people. while we're on this topic of Hitler, we could go to influences. So what now? Um, we just kind of. We we just kind of talked that Hitler like what that Hitler he chose to kind of be the leader because he knew, he kind of knew he knew the um like the public's weakness that like they will like they they knew all humans kind of like they don't want to be responsible they don't want to say oh this is all fault so they always want to blame somebody so um when when like he stepped up, everybody thought that um, when he like kind of stepped up, he wanted to be like the leader, and he didn't. He just wanted to kind of take control of the country and make it his. Um, Joe, do you have any thoughts? Um, like if someone says you can do it or something, you believe that you can because like you listen to what people say. And like believe that what they say is true. I actually think we should kind of go back to what Brendan said about how he blamed them for losing World War One. Like he blamed them for World War One, and it kind of goes along with why the Holocaust never happened in the world we have today. I think it would definitely not be happening today because Hitler probably would not have been. I agree with what Rio said and what today, and I believe what happened with today, we would we'd be unaware of what one singular person can do to the world, as in Hitler caught killing 10 million people. I agree with you, and I see the opposite. I think it would be the same because people are still judging people for their religion or the color of their skin. I think we should move on to influence because um and here I think we're doing like a lot like it would it could be the same, but yet some things would still be different. And on uh, influence, I think influence matters in like good and bad ways. You can give influence to for example like bad products because you see somebody yeah, I agree because like so if influences didn't even matter because like nobody could influence you to do anything like my products or um they that it would be good because they would be able to influence people to do bad things. I agree with you, Ria, and I think that there's another thing to influence is because influence matters because sometimes people like rely on you then. For example, people like this is for influence, like people get influenced by maybe like for example people might want to watch a famous YouTuber become a famous like sports player and then they get influenced by like to be a famous YouTuber or be a famous sports player or whatever. So why does influence matter? What I'm all hearing you say is that like influence is like good and like 
it can, be, it can be both good and bad because, well, how Hitler influenced the Nazis to, or people to join him was a bad situation of influence. But like, for example, somebody tells a kid to believe in themselves and later they become the president. I think that's a good influence. I agree. So what I oh, so, um, so what I'm kind of thinking is that um, influence, like you can have the somebody can have say the same thing, but one person can think like, oh, that's a good idea, like in the Holocaust, um, when Hitler said like, yeah, Jews are bad. The Jews probably thought, um, no. That's he's that that's like a bad influence to draw me. But then others thought, yeah, he's right, like he's like changing Joel um Joel in a good way. And yeah. <laughs> we forgot the last one. Okay, yeah, we did. I I did post one more question to you to kind of tie tie up what since you were since you left off. On the topic of influence, what influence did you see, or influences did you see in the boy in the Um, that, that, oh. um, that. Um, I was gonna. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. Hitler influenced the Jews to do a lot of things, like he uh, that he influenced and like brainwashed them kind of to like go to concentration camps on command and like do all these crazy things and like they tricked them to like throw the gas chambers to go inside of them and they said that they were going to take a shower but they're actually going to die. In the book that I read, they brainwashed the kids at the age of ten, so it was easier to do it. Ah, well, I, I was. You're not. Thank you for bringing in your nonfiction book that you read on Hitler Youth. Oh, right. Um, that's good. And but there were good and bad influences that we talked about. Hopefully, the next um, round you can pick up on those ideas. Um, outside circle. What are some great things that happen on the inside? Jilly? Yeah, we did a little bit of inviting in. Okay, good. Easy. Okay, so there could be more, right, to get more. But let's stick for just a little bit. Let's stick with the good things that, that happened that we can praise. Josie? A lot of people did talk. Yep. Yeah. Everyone talked at least once. Okay, everyone talked at least once. Okay. I agree. Some of the people I thought that were able to invite in. Oh yeah, they didn't need to be invited. Yeah, that, that are that are more fun. Yeah, that's great. That shows more confidence. That's good. Okay, now um, the outside circle. What are some things that you will want to keep in mind and improve on for when you're in the inside circle? Um, inviting more people so that more people get a chance on each topic. Um, Josie, talking more loudly. Did you did you guys hear everybody on the outside circle? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, East Kirk, uh, writer. I was gonna say, like, we spent too long talking about a topic. The first one took us, like, I looked and it took us about six minutes. Okay, so time management a little bit. Yeah, and sometimes, so. But it was so important. I feel yeah, like. Sometimes I feel it's like, okay to spend much more time. If you're digging deep and digging deep, that's what we want. So, yeah, we might not get to the other topics, but as long as we really understood one part of that, that's really great. Yeah, yeah. The weird thing I thought was we went to like influences and then we went to like another one and went to another one and then we came back yeah. to influences yeah. and we kept going back to it. So, what does that tell you? That there's a big well, talk about it. We weren't okay, that, that influence is one of the bigger elements of understanding all of this. Okay, good. I think that I think I'm going to start talking about what Brendan says and figure what's going to go to influence it. But I want to say something about how that brought it into the Okay, how could, how could we have, because Andrew, Andrew was trying to sum up and move on. So when that happens, and that happens a lot in tons of discussions, when that happens, what can we do to say, you know, whoa, well, let's, let's stop it for a second. How would you have done that? Well, I kind of just talked and said I would like to go back to talking about 
Well, the judging and then kind of go into that. Okay, so you could say, oh, actually, it, you can interject, you can interrupt nicely if it's an interruption that will help help direct the conversation. So you, you could have said very quickly, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, could, could we stay here for just a little bit before we move on? So that because I really liked the idea of that that Brendan had, and I would like to discuss it more. And, and when you look at the group, if they're if they're all looking at you like, no, we want to go on, then you can, you, know, you can kind of judge that. Or if they're all like, oh yeah, you know, then you know that's where the conversation can lead to. Yeah. So understanding that, being aware of everyone in the conversation is is important. Katie. Yeah, I'm just wondering for people that talk a lot and make up their sentences like really long, maybe other people. Okay, so so more balance, being aware of the balance of the conversation is, is very important. I would agree. All right, very quickly and quietly switch uh, spaces. I think that the person being judged uh, would feel ashamed, because, especially if they knew that, that they were being judged, because like the Jews felt ashamed of, um, of themselves because they knew that Hitler was judging them. I agree with Maria, because if you judge the person right away, you could lose the chance to make a new friend. For example, I have been judged before many times, but unlike others, I give second chances to be friends. Um, would anyone else join the conversation? I um I have a similar idea to what Maria says. Um, like if they know they're being judged, I think it makes it really hard for them to stand up for themselves because they don't know like what to do or like how to stand up for themselves. Um, I'm kind of gonna go off with of peers because there are some people that get overruled, like um, two and like there's two against just you and you two people can. I'm going to go along with what Maria said because um, when a person can be judged, they could be doing something bad, and the person does something bad too, which could, they don't want anybody else to do that, and they could feel ashamed. I agree with Daniel because um, it's like the saying, you can't judge a book by its cover, and neither can you judge a movie by its cover. You can't judge people by their personality. I agree and I agree because if you're judging somebody, it can make, it can make them happy and say, oh, like, you look really nice today, or you're always happy, but it can also make them really sad if you're saying you're ugly, you're worth nothing, makes everyone sad and can make people happy too. Where in the book did you? Uh, what happened in the book that gave you those opinions? I'm going to go back to your textual evidence. Um, so I think that it was kind of um, <clears throat> Bruno who almost, he didn't mean to judge him, but he was in a way, like, again, to Shmuel, because he would say that, like, the clothes, like, he would call them costumes, and that he would, um, he would say, like, he is way skinnier and yeah, I do want to bring this up. I agree with some um, because you shouldn't really judge people on how they are. I agree with you. Can you speak up a little louder? I can't really hear you. I agree with Kira because you shouldn't really judge people on how they are. I. Um, 
Just like Easton said, how Bruno was judging a channel, he was also uh, like when he like went on his walks, he bring like food and you know he never knew what went um, on inside like of Bruno's life. Look like and so then he was just. Like, you just kind of ate it if you got hungry. I agree with that, but I think you should move on to differences now. And why did they judge you because of their differences? And I think that, um, for mine, I think that they were judged because you're scared. I, believe, I agree with Easton, but also he did. I think he did that because he, um, they were overpopulated than um, the rest of them were. I agree. I think so. I agree with Easton because like Hitler judged the Jews because in World War One he blamed um he blamed them for losing World War One and he took it out on them in World War Two. I agree with Easton's thought because um, he needed someone to blame for losing the war and he was scared that maybe Germany would serve all the parts of all the money they had to pay. I agree with Kaylee because he just brought all his anger on the Jews because they lost. I I agree with that there's no idea of what Easton said because um he needed like someone to blame and someone like he was scared that um like um their population or their belief would get so popular that um like his belief would just be like out of question so I wanted to like take control of it and like. Okay, is going off of Kira's because um, she said that they would, wait, she's, oh, oh my god. Victoria, you haven't spoken in a while. Would you like to join this conversation? Um, I think we pretty much covered that. I think we should move on to influencers. Why does why does influence matter? I think that if we weren't influenced, um, there is like good and bad. But if we were influenced, then we wouldn't be in bad situations. Like if Noel didn't tell Bruno to come over, he might have not went, went over to the other side. That is mainly what that book, what the boy in the shark pajamas, is about. Because he, because Bruno, well, Shmuel wants Bruno to come over and find him, and or help him find him. I would like to add to what Maria said about earlier about what people do to, to influence people, because if people are acting badly and then they see you do good, then they'll turn from their bad ways and do good things. Because you've been an influence to them. You still continue. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. I agree and, th I agree and disagree with Angelica because there's, because there's no, because there's no, because there's a right and wrong influence because like some people, like, some people can influence others to do good, and some people can influence others to do bad stuff. And it affects, it kind of affects their life. It could probably affect the community too. No, you're right. I agree with that because if you didn't have influence, like good influences, you wouldn't learn good things. If you had bad influences, you would learn a bunch of bad things to do. I feel that influence doesn't matter because and if you're influenced, you don't really have to choose what you do. You don't really have to choose who you're influenced by. You can influence by somebody that's walking past you. And I feel like you should be able to choose your own path and not each and the other. I feel like we covered that whole thing. Just off the board. Influences. I think we should move on to history and the Holocaust. If the Holocaust, if the Holocaust never happened, would the world be how it is today? Um, I think that it wouldn't because the people uh, wouldn't be affected. And because of what Hitler did to the Jews, um, like the survivors that were still alive for some time, 
uh, they were very affected and like. You know. I agree with Maria because if because there were tons of people in like the death camps and there were some bad people that did evil evil things in that camp and if they were still alive we would be in big trouble right now. Um, well, I got two things. One is off of Maria's because um, apparent. Well, the one that was off hers was there would be you. You probably would see more people in Germany, or the population would be bigger, or they would come to the United States. And the second one would be well. How do we know there would have been a World War Two then? I or if someone else attacked us. Anyway, I agree with um, everyone because if war woke, there would be no Holocaust and there would only be, would have been one war. What do you think, Lexi? I agree with Daniel because um, if there wasn't the Holocaust, there would only have been one war and everything would have been. I agree uh, with um, the topic that's going on because if um, we had. No, um, Holocaust, um, we wouldn't have had World War II, um, we wouldn't, um, we wouldn't have, like, the population that we have because of all the immigrants that came here during World War II, and it would be, like, yeah. Would anyone else like to join the conversation? I agree, and I have an example from the text, uh, from my paper, because, like, because if it's if you never change the history because it'll affect the, it'll affect it and if the Holocaust will ever happen, Germany might still be a power and it's still a and Germany might be still like they would probably still be attacking Poland and all that. And if and if World War Two never happened, it would be it would still probably like it still the world would be like we we'll still be in probably a war. Um, well, I'm guessing off of Zach's that there would be a f war in the future because um, it was Germany and the Jews were getting punished for it. And if Germany, if they didn't do that, someone else would try to attack. I or they would try to take advantage of the situation. I agree with Zach and Easton because, one, we didn't get brought into World War II. The USA didn't until Japan bombed Port Carmel. And if they never would have done that, there wouldn't have been a war. And um, Japan and Germany would be in power right now since they teamed up. I agree with Zach because if we didn't have the World War II or World War, we would still be in war right now. Yeah, and we would all be Germany right now. No, we would still be the United States. Yeah, we would Yeah, we would be in war with Germany. I've still been. Remember, Hitler conquered many areas, and we all became Germany. I disagree with Angelica because when Germany actually conquered Poland, it was still Poland, but they were under control. The, not, the Nazis will still be the United States, but if we like, we still be the United States, but we will be over, it will be under the Nazis control. Did, oh, that did makes more sense. Uh, the Holocaust change things in the world? Very yeah. Much. Yes. 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 Very yes. Yes. Are there good changes that have been made? Before we move on, because you guys did a great job, before we move on, it, me posing that one question to you that came as a result of what you had talked about, what did that just do to our conversation? It just changed built it. it. it whoop, yeah, just it built it. From Everybody, it that one question being those that connected or came from the discussion that you guys were generating um, grows the, the discussion. So keep that in mind for our next discussion. Um, outside circles, um, what did the, the inside circle do that was really great? Um, a lot of people encouraged other people to go and like Angelica was really good at it. She kept inviting everybody to go. Inviting people in. Good. Right? What got the, that final question by Angelica got me going because like it was like 
because it brought the conversation to life, but if there was time left, I was interested to see, so they brought new topics. <laughs> new connections that are made because of the discussion. That's how we grow our understanding and build a collective understanding that makes us all go, oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. I know something more. And it makes me think of this, which then just grows and grows and grows. But what are some other good things that happen? On the inside circle. Yeah. Everyone spoke, yeah. Yeah. Like we kind of watched it in times, and then I think like people kind of like snap back into like, oh crap, we got, we got, yeah, we got to like, we got to move on. Yeah. Okay, okay. and that's and that's the on. one problem. Our next uh, conversation, hopefully, we'll have more time. But there's, I love that you wanted more time to discuss. Yeah. Okay, so we've got three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Just a minute. Yeah. High five. Brendan? Okay, yeah, they got to all four topics and Joe. Loud enough to hear, yes, good, all right. Um, thank you all, but uh, we will be talking about the first time in a second. Great job.